Hey guys, Jen from Majestic. Finally gotten around to these wind chimes, or I like to call them wind songs. It's a beautiful little nature element you can hang anywhere, obviously outside. So when the wind comes along on a breezy day, you get to hear all these like beautiful chimes. As with all of our kits, there's gonna be elements you're gonna gather yourself or recycle, right? So we've got basically any kind of wood that you wanna come up together, sticks, things of that matter. Maybe collect some old threads or ribbons, anything like that feathers, anything you have hanging around in your house that's a little bit lightweight, airy, will look really beautiful just dangling in the wind. We're gonna provide for you some recycled sari ribbons, some twine, obviously some of these little bells that I have imported from India. And I think that's about it. You never know what extra things I'm gonna throw into a kit, right? So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start at the, well, I would call it the base, but it is gonna be the very, very top of your wind chime. You wanna get four pieces of sticks, right? They could be varying sizes, it's fine, but pretty much about the same size. And you're gonna cross them up. Let's say you could play your own little puzzle piece as you wish and make them into a box. So I'm gonna start from there. You know, for all of you who like to play around with your twine, you're gonna sit here, we're gonna do some macaré kind of wrapping here, but feel free to cheat for the little ones. You got a glue gun nearby, channel your inner Martha Stewart. I'm really good with that, don't worry. So let's start right here. We wrap them, we've aligned them to make a nice little base, and now I'm gonna wrap it. Probably gonna start with two at a time. So. Find the cross area that you had and just start wrapping until you find it secure. You're gonna do this with all four sides. As you crosshair them together, you're gonna tie them. If you're not using the glue, make sure they're really tied well. So you can see like this one is already pretty easy. You're gonna do that four times. Start to get a little tricky near the end as they all start banging into each other, but don't worry. They're just beautiful nature sticks. The more nicks on them, the better. Adding your own sort of texture to the whole project. Just simply weave the four sticks together so that you get a nice little cross over box. Once it's all bound together, just feel free if you want to trim the little bits. Sometimes they look good in the wind. We'll let everything else stand for itself. So now, the most intricate part is getting this all to hang. So you can hang from several points depending on where you plan to do it, but I like to make a little bit of a peak. So you want to get a really long piece of string and we're going to tie it on one set of sticks and then bring it up tall about where you would be hanging it from. And you're going to bring it around to the exact opposite diagonal stick and tie it there. So that's the first side. That's just like this, right? Now, we wanna do that again so that we have some geometry and stability when it's hanging. It's very, rather important. So I'll just lean that aside. You're probably going to use the same length of ribbon like this giving yourself a little extra room. And then we're gonna do the same thing going across the other way. I'm gonna bring it up as tall as this one. Now I'm gonna loop it once. There's a little point right there. And then I'm gonna bring it down right across and tie it. This may be secure enough for you. As you can see, it's kind of like playing cat's cradle, right? Da -da. So we got that. That might be enough to put a hook for you. You could put a hook at the top. You could leave it like this. That's your base, even though it's at the top. And now we get to do all the super fancy work, right? Let's keep that in place. You can even just maybe put a little piece of tape or something for now. I'm gonna just gently tie it so I know not to alter it whatsoever while I'm decorating. Now I'm gonna flip it over. So much like a sea urchin, we're gonna build this up so that it can hang down. So I'm gonna take anything I want. These are all these nice pieces of sari yarn that I'm giving you. Well, they're recycled saris. They're really, really easy to rip. So if I give you a few in your kit, all you have to do is you can rip them into more sections or double them up 
this is your project as always all of our majestic ritual crafting workshops they're your project so you're making them by the way start sending me pictures folks tag me up majestic hudson i want to see these things this is really fun and here we go i'm just going to start tying on all these ribbons so i'm looking at this that's my first ribbon i think i want it to be that length and now i'm going to start to hang a whole bunch more i would say start with about four before we add belts remember not to get it intertwined with the hanging mechanism that you just did It's really fun to rip them. It makes a really cool sound. Put that on the ASMR, Ellie. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> okay, four nice ribbons here. Now well, let's add some sound. Every once in a while, pick it up, see how you like it. And now, back to our bells. So every kit's going to get four bells and you have to string them. So what I would recommend is getting yourself some loose string. By the way, we'll get to the embroidery kit eventually, I promise. It's pretty, that's all I've been doing all summer. So we're gonna string three to four bells. I'm gonna start with two just for the sake of this video. You do as you wish, but you're basically just going to string it through. I tend to double the string if it's thin. It's just more support because these are in the wind, right? So I'm gonna take it and I'm also gonna tie that right in here. You're going to want to put the bells at various lengths. That way they don't necessarily bang into each other. That's not always the most pleasant sound. You might like it, but I'm a folk girl. I like a little ding a ling ling If you're into heavy metal, do what you want. Okay, so there we go. All right, casualty. <laughs> Let's redo that one. <laughs> Clearly I don't know how to tie a bell. <laughs> Feel free to use a thicker yarn if they're the little ones, because obviously sometimes this could get tricky. I'm just tying it through. That should work. I'm gonna do those three times. You can hang them from anywhere on your base. I just want to let you know that. I just think it's a good idea to once in a while pick it up and see where the bells are hanging from so that you enjoy their placement and how they sound. As I said earlier, I'm going to make sure that my base at the top is not interfering when I'm tying. So I'm picking it up. It's easier to decide from here. Oh, I'll just put this one right here. I'm going to stick with the two for now. You can put as many as you want. And to be perfectly honest, even like where I lost that bell, but that still looks nice. I want to encourage you to put as many different things as you want onto your wind chime. Do a little trimming here. Because from here, once you start getting the music going, is where some of the real decoration takes place. Like maybe adding a tassel here or there. I even have like these little pipe cleaners, which is also a really good way to hang it up. You can glue little feathers in there. Seashells. Uh, I don't know. Crystals. Who knows what ends up in your kit? You never know, right? So here is a majestic wind chime. We're enjoying our summer as gracefully as we can. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Talk to you guys soon. Visit MajesticHudson.com for everything, and I'll see you real soon.